But this one, uh, they will be telling you and uh, giving you a newsworthy story. So that's what they're going to be doing, reporting on something that you're going to give us. So we'd like a newsworthy story for them to report on, please. An alien invasion. Thank you. Excellent. So we have Chris. You're going to be the anchor in the studio. Natalie, you're going to be the on-street reporter. And Eddie, you're going to be the guest in the studio and in the street as well. Good evening. Welcome to Action News. With a breaking story this evening, an alien invasion. I can't believe this. We're going to go straight out to the streets. Yes, What's happening out there? Thank you. You won't believe this. I'm here with President Obama. They landed on the White House. What have you got to say, sir? Firstly, we <laughs> can't be afraid to talk to these people. They have come here, they clearly understand I'm in charge. And I am. Ha! They just decapitated your wife. We had a good run. <laughs> we can't be expected to hold on to the past for too long. We need to be looking forward to the future. So, you're saying make friends with the aliens? I'm saying, if they can kill my wife, they can kill yours. Let's be friends. Oh, no, I believe we're in the studio. Yes, I actually have one of the alien ambassadors. I can't believe this. He's here in the studio, or she. I don't know. I can't really tell. Time will tell on that one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I really can't tell. So, uh, yeah, now, what are your plans here? What, what do you want? Well, <laughs> I watched a lovely little home movie of a friend of mine. Uh, he was called Et, I think. And uh, he came down here a long time ago. So he came down here, had a, I think he had a cycling holiday in the United States. <laughs> and it just looked gorgeous. <laughs> so so you're not here for sightseeing. Then. We yeah. like to him, obviously, the sights. He'd like to meet a few people. He, I mean, he came there by mistake. Don't tell anyone. But so uh, <laughs> we got <laughs> So we worked out where he was from his coordinates, and we thought we'd pop along. And so but you landed on the White House. You actually smashed the White House to pieces when you landed. We were under the impression that your uh, constructions were a little more solid than they were. We, we will fix that. You thought we it was a parking spot. Easy, easy mistake. It, 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 it's jumped out at us from the landscape, yes. We, uh, we, we have uh, been speaking to Obama. And uh, he, he, he's been very understanding about it, so we're just going to sort that out, put it all behind us, and we'll just get out because I want to, uh, I want to go to a wood. <laughs> right, that sounds lovely. Back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here with Bob from Big Bob's Crazy Grill, Crazy Grill of the Eatery. I can't even say it. It's so exciting. He's got a new alien menu just for the aliens. What are you serving today, sir? Well, I decided that I was just going to serve up some butter, and I was going to wrap that in bacon. I was going to put that in a truck, and then I was going to deep fry it. I don't know what they like, but I like that. <laughs> Do you have a special alien name for this new part of the menu? Yeah, we're going to call it, look at it sideways and we'll shoot you. <laughs> I like that. Back to the studio. Yes, uh, recent term events here. Uh, this is strange. Uh, we've got an alien from uh, Area 51 here, a different species, believe it or not. I decided to come out and tell us he's been here all the time. But he's saying the aliens are not who they say they are. What's your story? <laughs> I've been locked up in that place for a very long time. <laughs> Do you know why? Because them aliens all just landed on the White House. It's a bunch of grossing slags. I've never done nothing. I've never done nothing. I've spent God knows how many of your Earth years, your poxy little Earth years, with various probes going on, in and out, in and out, take some more of that, put it under a microscope, however you like, and they're the ones who've done it. I ain't no gross. So I ain't staying there no longer. Okay, so you're saying their intentions might be different to looking for a wood. I agree. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, wood is it? Wood is it? He said he wants to go to the woods. Oh, he wants to go to the woods, does he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that case, you can expect to find bloody Red Riding Hood and Winnie the Pooh locked up before you know it. Because they're grasses. <laughs> I see an interesting turn of events in the studio. Have you got anybody else? Yeah, I love our guest out here. You won't believe this. I haven't seen it since the 80s. It is E.T. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. What brought you back? <laughs> I'm going to have to jump in there because uh, we've got E.T.'s other half, Elliot. He's drunk. Uh, he's disorderly. <laughs> Apparently, E.T. has hurt him in some way. Um, Elliot, please tell us your side of the story. I know you're very upset. I mean, you talked about phones for so long. 
And then as soon as you leave, you forget what one even looks like! <laughs> <laughs> you got any uh, any final words there for the alien overlords that'll probably take us all over? They'll pretend to be one of your toys and then they'll die and then they won't and then they'll leave you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a bombshell. That's all we got time for. Good night.